Hi everyone, it's Megan from Clutter Crafter, and today's card inspiration video, I'm going to be recreating a card that I did at my friend's house. I'm just recreating the card front, and I was just measuring the strips of paper that I had down, and they ended up being one and a half inch, one inch, and a half inch. I'm not quite sure what paper pad I use for the papers, but if I remember, I will put it in the description below. I got the paper pad at Dollarama, and with this paper, I cut two strips of it because I wasn't sure if I wanted the stripes to go horizontal or vertical. So there I was just playing around which strips I wanted, and I ended up choosing the vertical stripes on the paper. It's kind of hard to see, but you'll see it better on the pictures I have at the end of the video. And I'm using my double-sided tear tape to adhere down the pieces of paper on the front. I wanted to do um, a male version of this card because I don't really make any like boy cards. It's usually um, more feminine, I would say. So I wanted to make a more masculine card, because I do have a nephew. Uh, so like I'd like to have some cards on hand for his birthday or something like that. And now I'm just adhering down the other strip of paper, and I trimmed that down before adhering it down so it would make it a little bit easier and then after this I go back and try to figure out if I wanted these stripes vertical or horizontal and I had actually texted my friend to uh, see what she thought would look better and we both decided to go with the uh, stripes being vertical and I'm just adhering that down again with my double sided tear tape and trimming that off. If I had it back, I would have stamped my sentiment first before adding the baker's twine. Because the baker's twine actually got in the way of my stamping and I had to do a double stamping of uh, the sentiment I used. And I decided to go with a red and white baker's twine. I would have liked to use an orange instead of red, but I didn't have uh, any orange baker's twine, and the green that I had, it didn't match the green on the paper, and there's no blue, it's more of a teal on the paper, so I didn't choose the blue baker's twine either. But the red looks really nice with it, and on one of the papers, the plaid, there's actually a little bit of red running through it and I think you can see it on the photos at the end and I had put some uh, movable adhesive on the back it's a double sided tape but it's not a permanent tape it's easy to lift up and I put that to keep the baker's twine in place as I tied it but I tied it off too close to the right side of the card mat so I took up the tape and just move the uh, twine over a little bit and then I tied my bow and that's where you see where I messed up the twine got in the way of stamping and so I just had to do a double stamp and here I'm just figuring out what card base I wanted to put the mat on and I decided to go with a craft color card base I thought that look the best. The white kind of just washed it out a little bit. Uh, the white, I was originally going to use a white card base, but I just didn't like it. There was just too much white for my liking. And I put a little extra adhesive on the back so the baker's twine would stay in place. And that's the end of the video. I hope you guys like this card. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, and happy crafting.